so as a disclaimer, all this information was found on 9gag and then posted onto an article. So, take it with a grain of salt. This is supposedly leaked information, and I'm going to cover it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, or whatever the hell you want to classify yourself as. Uh, like I mentioned in the little intro that I had at the beginning of this video, this is covering some leaked information as regarding the Marvel movies that we briefly talked about beforehand. And so we're going to start off with Age of Ultron. Obviously it's coming out soon, and just this Wednesday, a trailer was released. Earlier than obviously we all expected, and the wonderful people on the internet had spotted some stuff. Like, uh, let's say Ulysses Claw, and uh, Voltron adding. Oh, oh my god, I forgot the name of it already. The Verb. Oh my sweet Jesus. I believe it's pronounced Vibranium. Ah. Vibranium, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I am horrid when it comes to pronouncing words like that, but. Uh, what we have here is possibilities of Black Panther actually showing up within Avengers 2 a lot earlier than we expected. So, just, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say, really, because that would be amazing if he actually would appear in this movie but uh, as always I will post pictures hey, or have pictures in the video but I haven't even and so oh excuse me and Ulysses Claw the oh, arch nemesis of, uh, one of those games, Black Panther as we all know has been spotted in the trailer so, how's the ball coming along? so there's that for that one but on to more important things such as uh, Ant-Man 2015. That's not the actual name, but that's when it's coming out. As we learned at Comic-Con this year, Ant-Man is still happening. Woohoo. And will still star Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas. Awesome. The footage we got this year was interesting, to say the very least. Superheroes. What a goddamn joke. Why did I put that? <laughs> so far, nothing has been said about it change in release date uh, still hit still will hit to theaters two months after Age of Ultron so there's that and then there's a photo to go with it I'll have to get that one later uh, Captain America 3 The Fallen Sun here's what brings a bit more complex oh here's what oh my goodness here's where things get a bit more complex we know that Captain America 3 will open the same weekend as Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. We <coughs> we even have directors set to helm the project. So at the least release... Oh, so at least the release date is legitimate. There's that. Uh, I don't know when it's going to release, so, yeah. Uh, the title gives the impersonation that this film will pick up a, about where the Winter Soldier left off, where Captain Falcon were, are off to find Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. Ooh, spoiler! To find out who he is and why. Oh, shit! I went ahead. To find the Winter Soldier, who has just been freed from Hydra control and is not, and is not journeying to find out who he is and why this guy keeps calling him Bucky. Hence the Fallen Son in the title. Wow, that article... Okay. Given the ending of Captain America 2, it would seem that only natural the storyline is the next chapter in Steve's story, a.k.a. Uh, Captain America. I think it is safe to say that this movie is legitimate. Obviously, that's the one with Robert Downey Jr. playing the villain. I don't know how they're going to do that. Uh, all this is from an article, so if I mess up on 
anything like grammar wise please correct me uh, Doctor Strange there's no date for it yet well there is in the timeline I just don't have that picture open right now so this is another one that Marvel Studi Studios awesome has actually talk. confirmed and is a director tied to oh sweet for those who don't know about the Sorcerer hey, Supreme, Dr. Stephen Strange kicked, was a brilliant but arrogant neurosurgeon <laughs> living in NYC. His life changed forever when an accident severely damaged his hands to the point where they could uncontrollably shake, leaving him out of a job as surgeon. With nowhere else to go, Stephen refused to find treatment for his hands. His research led him to an ancient monastery where Stephen would become versed in the mystical arts and learn to wield magic to protect our world from the evil forces of interdimensional demon known as... Now I'm going to butcher this name, but... Dor... Mamu? I, I don't know how to pronounce him. Or I don't know how to pronounce his name. But then he has a student named Baron Mordo. Okay, it sounds like Mordor. <laughs> har har. That is the world's Sorcerer Supreme. Okay. Now, as I have stated before, this film has been confirmed and a director has already been signed on. So, there is no really way of telling that the photo that I am going to put in is legitimate or not. I, th I think it's from the comic, but so far there's only a title screen for it, like, uh, you know, the name of the movie and all that shit, like the rest of them. Uh, now Thor 3, Ragnarok. <clears throat> the third installment in the series that managed to make a ton of girls geeks overnight. Oh, lovely. When we last left Thor... <clears throat> When we last left Thor, our hero has decided to leave Asgard to protect you know Midgard and be with Jane Foster, like his one true love, leaving a very three. sneaky Loki oh, to take the throne. We still have the events of yes, Age of Ultron to see, however, it doesn't Ooh, seem impossible for Thor hey, to feel the need to return to Asgard at the end of Age of Ultron, <laughs> especially if he were to catch some sort of message from someone in Asgard it? that Loki has taken the throne. <clears throat> now, Ragnarok has dual meaning in the Marvel comics. On one hand, you have the saga Ragnarok, which was the Asgardian apocalypse, the end of their world. If the Marvel Cinematic Universe decided to go this route, Loki would probably have some sort of hand in the starting of the Asgardian end of days, and Thor would have not only fight his brother, but would also have to save his entire world from destruction. I would love to see that. But a story worth of a movie on is in its own, like no love was obviously. Uh, well, on the other hand, however, you have Ragnarok, a cyber clone of Thor himself, created by Tony Stark, combining his own DNA with Asgardian DNA now, to replace Thor with the real son of Odin, was Maya. Huh. <laughs> so, you have the apocalyptic artist. war of Asgard, and then you have the Iron Avenger that Tony Stark created, named Ragnarok, which is based on Thor. So, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, that'd be really interesting to see in a movie, yada yada yada. Who's to say that before learning his mistake with Ultron, Tony Stark didn't make a clone of Thor? Who's to say Thor didn't die in Age of Ultron, and in Thor's absence, Tony deployed his clone. Thor has died and come back again many times in the comics, so to see a movie where Thor must face off against against a version of himself... Oh, wow. While also going through the trials that are, uh, that are required from coming back for as from his great death would be amazing. Okay, so what he's saying is... What if uh, uh, Thor had Hello, somehow Sam. died? I have a package then, so you know, I. Tony releases Yoink. the clone, <laughs> but Thor comes Shit. back. As I well, that'd be quite the fight everywhere. to see. We Unfortunately, we only have the success of line. Thor The Dark World and Chris's remaining movies. Okay, and his contract to hold evidence of movie's legitimacy. But here's hoping to Thor 3. 
I hope uh, <laughs> this is real. Why and then we have a uh, confirmed title for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It's now officially called War of Kings. And I believe this was confirmed. Okay, so th this part of the article is before the first one. And it was an update that they did for the title. So most of this is old information, so just keep that in mind. Oh, a sewer. Oh, quaint. Okay. Uh, uh, does anybody remember how to play? I never read let's the manual. See. You That's in Yo Comic Con 2014. Yes, Marvel Studios confirmed that a sequel to the unreleased Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. They even provided uh, player, a release shit. date. Do whatever oh, wouldn't says. you know it? July 28th, <laughs> 2017. Jumpline. Just like in this picture. Light attacks. Oh. James Gunn is also set to direct again. Awesome, meaning that this movie is real. However, the title may not be, just like Captain America. If this is the title of the sequel, we may very well be able to see a movie, or to see more of this galaxy that Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Groot, and Rocket protect. For those who don't know, the comic book characters, a minor spoil is ahead. So, if you don't want to listen to the spoiler, then too bad. In the Marvel comics, Peter Quill, otherwise known as Star Ward, isn't fully human. He's actually half Spartoi. And I probably butchered that again. The race of aliens is nearly identical to humans for the exception that they live about 300 years old. So, obviously they live three times as long as a human does, but we look exactly like them. <coughs> he, he received his element guns from his father, Jason of uh, Spartax, the emperor of our planet, Spartax. You ever wonder why his middle name is Jason? Okay, so Star-Lord's middle name is Jason. Hint, hint. <laughs> we had left him on Earth while he was repairing his ship and falling in love with Star-Lord's mom. Okay. Given that information, it is very likely that Star Wars heritage comes into play and drags Guardians into an intergalactic war. It is also rumored that Nova, okay, Nova Alexander, oh shit, all right, so that Nova and Adam Warlock, a being of nearly infinite power, who just so happens to have an Infinity Stone in his head, will also appear in the sequel. So sorry for messing that up there, folks. There's hey, something in parentheses. So go nuts. Oh, I, I'm not going to read it. It's just talking about the characters, but... So we have Nova and Adam Warlock. So... And one of them has the Infinity Stone. So they, they may or may not be showing up in the sequel. Ah, here we go. Black Panther. This is a project that fans have been yeah, dying for ever since that game. scene in Iron Man 2 hey, where buddy, it was the, the start of the Avengers on. where they were just hinting at it. And you can see on the monitor there was a blip on Africa. And wouldn't you know it? Oh, it's Black Panther! And he's basically Batman, but better. Sorry all you Batman fans. <clears throat> Why is he better? Well, Takala aka Black Panther, is the ruler of his own country called Wakanda. Wakanda is, in the Marvel Universe, the leading producer of vibranium. His backstory is just as dark as Batman's, the fact that he had watched his father be ruthlessly murdered by a scientist named Claw. Hmm. <laughs> after his father's death, after his father's death, Takala, I am probably butchering his name, became the ruler of the country. However, a country was not the only thing Takala inherited. Takala, otherwise known as Black Panther, was also given the Black okay, Panther I spirit, granting jump, him I'll fantastical abilities such as Olympic level, physical jump. attributes like strength, speed, stamina, and all that bull crap. Even enhancing his senses, you know, like scent, sight, and touch. All those wonderful things. He also has a PhD in physics and his armor is made entirely out of vibranium, if meaning it is mean, indestructible as Cat's shield. Together, Except when Ultron breaks it. Oh. He also has a connection to one of the gods of his tribe. In addition to all this, did I mention that he was the world's first black superhero? That's right, the first African-American superhero. That's pretty outstanding. I think I need to make an entrance. 
Okay, and then the actor who was supposedly going to be playing him was tweeting, you know, a bunch of bullshit. But amongst the tweets, there was one that read, Booking a flight to Wakanda. Well, I shouldn't have to say any more, but I will. If this guy isn't pulling our legs, then his tweets were a very clear way of telling the world that he, Mr. John Boyoga, Boyega, sorry, is to be our Black Panther. So yeah. And then, I think we have two more? Yeah, we have two more after this one. Next up on the list is Avengers Civil War. For those of you who, have, who don't know, Marvel's Civil War storyline is, as it sounded, a war between the Marvel heroes. Basically what happens is that S.H.I.E.L.D. and the U.S. government begins to push the Super Superhuman Registration Act. Meaning that it is a law where everybody with superpowers is treated exactly like how the X-Men were treated, just worse. Because every single superhero. So they're basically being outlawed by the only people that they, that they trusted. Naturally not everyone was a huge fan of that. So in the end, pretty much every superhero was in a pro-registration camp, or anti-registration camp. Each of them being led by Tony Stark and Captain America, respectively. So, we have Tony going for one side, Captain America going for the other. Holy shit. Now, seeing a movie where the entire, in quotes, in, not quotes, but in caps, entire Marvel Cinematic Universe is against each other would be insane to see. Because they're going to have to throw in the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, Hulk, or all the Avengers, in fact, and everyone else that we've seen on the big screen. Uh, unfortunately, there is no sign of evidence that the fact that Robert Downey Jr. is signed to do a third Avengers movie. This is supposedly the third one. Okay, this would be the plot. The plot of the movie, of the next movie, could very well be the fight between our beloved Avengers and Thanos himself that we have been waiting for ever since the first Avengers at the end. Okay, and now we're going to move on to World War Hulk. So for this one, all of you who know about the Planet Hulk uh, movie that they pushed out, the animated one, in the comic, I believe there's a comic, but basically, Hulk, or uh, Bruce Banner, he was deemed too powerful for Earth, and so he was pushed away to a distant planet where he could truly be alone, but a comet hit his spaceship that he was in, and it made him crash land onto a planet known as... Or we could find a way to shut down power to the entire building. Planet Sakaar. The Hulk was captured then and subjected to fight in gladiator style games against other creatures that were captured by the forces of Sakaar. Hulk fought many people, including the Silver Surfer. Hmm. But eventually broke free from his captivity and ended up fulfilling a prophecy about the Sakaar sun. Hulk embracing this title, became the ruler of that world. So, wh there's an entire storyline that I'm not going to cover because I'm trying to keep this a short video. Uh, basically, they're going to have to cut it into three projects to explain how he got there. The fights. Like, where everybody came from, basically everyone's backstory, every, anyone important actually, and all yeah, that, so. Like that. And then the last, My but certainly not least, the Inhumans. Out of all the titles on this list, this is the title that comes out most out of left field. The Inhumans are not just a comic book series or a team of superheroes. No, the Inhumans are an entire race of super-powered people prehistoric humans who were exposed to mysterious Ooh. substance called yeah. the Terrigen Myths. The main cast of the humans consists of the royal family of their city, the king, Black Bolt, 
a superhero so powerful that basically just whispering something can level major cities. So really he's Marvel's Superman, but ten times more awesome. And then, oh, we have Medusa, a woman whose hair can be manipulated to act as whips and such. You know, all that bullshit. She and her cousin Blackpool have an interesting late relationship with each other. So, they're trying to keep the bloodline royal. Or they're trying to keep royal bloodlines. So, their little thing of incest isn't so wrong after all to them, <laughs> but to, we, we all know how we feel about that. But besides all that weird stuff, a less creepy fun fact is that there was a point in the comics where Venom had succeeded in killing Spider-Man, and Medusa, with her strong sense of justice, dueled out the maximum punishment she could, being 50 lashings from her superpowered hair. It was shown off to act as a regular whip, breaking through the sound barrier. So, Venom's being whacked every time. That's 50 times. And then take that, and he's, she's breaking the sound barrier. Ooh, excuse me. Breaking the sound barrier every time. So Venom is getting basically 50 times 100. <laughs> like whips, basically. That, that is amazing. I, I all this is going to collide. Like in humans is where basically everybody will come together, and at some point, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch would happen to be members of the Inhuman Society. Because in the comic, Quicksilver hey, and Crystal, is a chair. character that I forgot to mention, uh, they get into a relationship together, well, and he's, in, and then Quicksilver gets so taken into the family. So, like besides all that, uh, in conclusion, I'm everything that I had listed okay. must be taken with a grain of salt. This must be my stop. However, if this leak is legitimate, and this is Phase 3 and beyond, then we're in for a real treat. So, I'd like, to have, I'd like to say that everybody have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this, or wherever you're watching this, and peace the fuck out.